back to the vlog. I hope you've had a really, really wonderful week. I'm sitting somewhere else this week. I think I'm trying to try out loads of different places to film. Um, it's quite nice actually to have a different uh, bit of scenery to look at, I suppose. And this wall behind me is um, our new wall in the studio, which Narissa painted for us back in November, and I love it so much. I've had to up the white balance because it's quite late in the day. Um, so these colours are a little bit brighter than they look, but it's so cool. Anyway, um, this week I wanted to come back and chat to you about some of the things that I have sewn recently uh, because I have actually sewn some things since I recorded my last plans video which is back in November. Um, so I thought I would show you, I've only got a handful of things to show you, I've sewn a few other things um, which I'll tell you about but I haven't brought with me to try on for you. Before I get started, if you could do me a massive, massive favour and hit the subscribe button. I can never remember which side it is. But it would really, really help me and I'd be really grateful if you could join in and be part of the channel um, and follow the weekly videos. That'd be amazing. So I've got four things to show you today, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. This, I love, my new favorite, and it matches my new earrings, I think. Um, it goes well with my new earrings. Um, this is actually a dress. I'll stand up and show you it in a moment. It is made from our foliage canopy viscose jersey. I love this print so, so much. We have had it in on a couple of different base cloths. We've had it in our crepe. We've had it in on a cotton lawn. And I actually made a shirt dress from the cotton lawn which was in a vlog last summer, I think. Um, and we've got it in on the viscose um, jersey. And I love this because it's got ever so slight texture to it, like a little bit of a crepey texture. It's nice and drapey and stretchy. Um, um, the colors in the print are really bold on this um, base cloth, so it's lovely. But this is a Mandy Boat Tee which is a free pattern from Tasuti Fabrics. And they have recently re-released it with a couple of different size options because it was a free pattern that was one size fits all. And now they've re-released it with, I think they do extra small through to extra large or extra extra large, which is brilliant, especially for a free pattern. Really, really popular as a top. And um, I've made it into a dress. I'm just gonna move the camera back and show you. So I'm hoping you can see that. All I've done, it's a really loose fitting, straight down at the sides pattern with fitted um, drop sleeve. So um, it works really well as a top, as I say, but I've brought it down. I think I added on, <laughs> really scientifically, I think I added on like two hands worth because I didn't actually measure it. Um, and then I just brought it in ever so slightly at the sides, so it wasn't a complete sort of swingy tent dress. Um, and it is so comfy, and I think it works perfectly with something like this that's got a really nice um, bit of drape, and it's a great print that you can show off. So yeah, really comfy, really love it. And I'm gonna get loads of wear out of it. The only thing, I'm going to do differently next time is bring, or I could even do it this time, I'm just being lazy, is just um, bring the neck in a little bit because it is a bit too wide for me and it shows off my bra straps, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but yeah, I love it. Super comfy, really easy to wear, throw it on. This jersey doesn't crease very much either, so it is an absolute dream. Excuse the squeaky floorboards. I am gonna go and change into my next make. Make number two, if you saw my 2018 Roundup vlog, you may have had a sneak peek of this already. I love this. Um, I love it so much, I'm about to make another one in <laughs> exactly the same fabric, just in a different color. This is the Tilly and the Buttons Freya dress, which is another pattern from her stretch book. I actually feel like I've got really good value from that book now because I've made the Frankie top, I've made five or six Jonies, um, 
and I recently did my journey tutorial if you haven't seen that I will link that up here um, and I now have tried the Freya because everyone was talking about that and I love it the shape's really nice I'll stand up and show you properly in a minute um, it's got a couple of different neck options and I went for the cow neck because I actually made this as my Christmas day dress which does mean <laughs> that I did actually sew it up on Christmas day morning because you know, I just like to fly close to the wind. But it was a really nice thing to do actually. We had our nice breakfast, we opened our presents, and then before we went over to Susie's for our Christmas dinner, I got some time to sew this up and it went together really quickly on the overlocker. Um, before I stand up and show you the rest of the dress, I am going to admit <laughs> that I made a really stupid mistake. Shocker. So um, when I was cutting this out, was yakking away as usual, um, talking to Alice in the shop. And the cowl is in two pieces. Um, and it's one pattern piece which you cut on the fold twice. I wasn't paying attention and I cut one piece uh, not on the fold. So I thought that's okay, I can join it. But obviously that means I've got a join front and back. So luckily, I realised and I've positioned it, positioned it on the underside of the cow so you can't see it but although this is a higher neckline and I'm obviously bigger busted I think this is really flattering and it is so nice for this weather and this fabric is a textured ponte, it's like a viscose blend, it's a medium weight and it's ever so slightly less orange than it's looking on there it's just because as I say I've had to brine it up um, it's definitely a true red colour um, and yeah I'll stand up and move the camera back and show you the rest of it because I really love the shape of this so ignore Doris in the background by the way and also can you see me in the mirror <laughs> yes I think you can um, so it's got a really nice um, simple A-line shape. It's not dissimilar to the Coco. It's um, maybe a little bit more fitted around the tummy, um, sorry, a little bit more fitted around the waist and the flare isn't quite so pronounced. I think maybe slightly longer as well. And then obviously you've got these sleeves, which actually most of the time I wear rolled up. The only thing I would say is <laughs> I could be wearing a better bra because this has a really obvious line on it, but what can you do? I love it. Super cosy, goes together really quickly, the colour is really gorgeous and it's super soft and cosy. So yeah, I love that one and it also goes with my earrings, which I wore on Christmas Day. So yeah, a winner. I will be back. Um, I'm going to go and change into my, am I going to go and change, actually no, I'm going to grab something that I'm not going to change into because I haven't bought any trousers to wear with it and it's a jumper, so bear with me. So this is going to clash hideously with what I'm wearing because it's bright pink and I'm wearing red, um, but I don't care because I love it. Uh, I'm sorry I can't put it on, but as I say, I haven't worn any jeans. Um, into the shop today and I don't really fancy showing you wearing this in my tights but this is a linden sweatshirt in our bright hot pink um, fleece lined sweatshirt sorry I forgot where I was then it is super super soft and snuggly and um, again it's ever so slightly uh, richer brighter colour um, than is on here I can't wait for winter to be over so that I can film in better lighting again. Um, that's more of an accurate kind of colour. And made it in the linden pattern, kept the neckline wider. Often I bring the neckline up, but on this one I kept the neckline wider. And can you see, I have had satisfaction embroidered on the front, um, which was done by the embroidery shop which is next to us in the craft village. They're called iPrints and they've got um, uh, an industrial embroidery machine. And I just thought this is so on brand. This is such perfect satisfaction pink um, that I wanted. And they had the perfect satisfaction uh, turquoise. And I thought I would make it a 
satisfaction jumper and I've worn it a few times when I've been teaching uh, the kids classes and things. I lengthened it down so it's uh, a bit longer than the standard linden as well so it's super cosy but yeah this fabric we've got in I think four or five different colours. We've got the bright pink, we've got a lovely red which is similar to this red, we've got aqua and a really lovely mint and also a light pink like a rose pink very similar to this. So really gorgeous and it's got that super soft fleece lining as well so really nice for this weather. We've actually had snow this week so yeah. So I can't put it on, but I have made about 20 million lindens and you have seen most of them. Uh, we've also got some brilliant cuffing in as well. So I'm planning on making a, another linden in the aqua um, and then pairing it with some of our new special cotton um, cuffs that you can use for cuffs and neckbands and waistbands and things and they give you a really professional finish. So love that one and I will change into my final make that I'm going to show you. I've also made a velvet, black velvet Joni which I wore to our Christmas party. Um, I haven't got that with me and I have shown you every Joni that I've made <laughs> and I think you get the idea now and I've also done the tutorial or the sew with me um, vlog as well. So um, I also made a skirt. I made the Liesl & Co everyday skirt in our navy Shetland flannel which I really did want to show you and I've lost it. Um, <laughs> this happens sometimes because I'm constantly carting things between the shop and home and back again and I can't find it. It will appear at some point and I promise I will show you but um, the Liesl & Co Everyday Skirt is now out of print anyway. They've decided to um, stop printing it, which is a real shame. So I can't actually sell the pattern anymore um, through the shop. Um, but as soon as I do find the skirt, I am going to show it to you. And I'm hoping I'll find it soon so that I can still wear it while the weather's cold. And what else have I made? I've <laughs> I've also made a cover for a hot water bottle and um, a couple of other just basic tops that again you've all seen the patterns and things so and they're just fabrics from my stash so I haven't bought them with me but I will show you my final make for now. So final make that I'm going to show you this week. I really love this, it's so pretty and it was really really nice to make. It is the Sew Over It Betty dress. Um, I made it actually during our last term of intro to dressmaking because when I teach I sometimes find it useful to have um, a garment on the go where I can show people how to do the zips and the invisible, um, sorry, invisible zips and darts and things as I go. And um, I chose to do the Betty dress because five of the ladies on the class had also chosen to do the Betty dress and I really like it. This fabric is one of our triple crepes. Um, I think it's called Twilight Meadow or Twilight Garden. I will link it down below. It's this beautiful blue and um, it's obviously got quite a vintagey floral print but the crepe is a really nice weight. It's like a triple crepe um, and it's got a little tiny, tiny bit of stretch in it so it just feels really nice and comfy to wear. Um, I'll obviously stand up in a minute and show you it but it was just a real pleasure to sew. Things like the, um, I think the neckline sits quite well on me, I like the all-in-one um, neck band and armhole facing if I get my words out properly I think that looks really neat it's quite a vintagey kind of party dress so I'm not sure how often I'll wear it but I do really love it I'll show up and uh, show up I'll stand up and show you the rest so it's got a really full circle skirt perfect for twirling and um, no I still haven't hemmed <laughs> hemmed it I am going to bind it uh, I'll do a, sorry 
I'm standing on the squeakiest floorboards in here. Um, I am going to do a bias bound hem, so where you just stitch bias binding around on the machine and then I will hand stitch it because I think it deserves to be hand stitched. I'm trying really hard not to tread on the floorboards. But yeah, it's just beautiful. It's really, really lovely. I think it would be really nice for a wedding. Look how big that skirt is. It takes quite a lot of fabric because of the skirt. So in a 145, 150 centimetre fabric, it takes three and a half metres. Um, but if you are using a, sorry, it takes three metres. And if you're using a narrower fabric, like a cotton or something, then it does take four and a half metres, which is quite a lot. But um, it's nice for a special occasion dress. And as I say, I think it sits really nicely on me. So, love it. So I'm really happy with all of those. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I promise I will be better this year at showing you my makes. I have already started on some of my makes for next month. Uh, or <laughs> this month and um, I'm going to do my plans video next so you can see what I'm up to and I've got some gorgeous gorgeous fabrics and I'm so excited about working with them so I will definitely definitely be showing you those so if you're not already subscribed hit the button down below so that you can keep up to date with what's going on hope you all have a really lovely rest of the week oh one thing I did want to tell you all about, um, we have launched a really exciting challenge on Instagram. So if you're over on Instagram and you're not following us already, follow us at Satisfaction. And as you may or may not know, the Great British Sewing Bee, which is hugely popular, is finally coming back after a two year break, I think it's two and a half years. Um, and it's back on screens over here on BBC Two on the 12th of February, we're told. And we have uh, come up with a challenge which is the GBSB So Along because it's such a popular program but only 10 people can be on it. And um, it kind of unites all the sewing people um, in not only in the UK but I know loads of people watch it around the world and everyone loves chatting about it and getting involved and I thought it would be a really really great thing if we could do something where even more people could kind of get involved and feel like they were part of it so we're going to be doing the GBSB so along where each week that the program is running we will set challenges based on the theme that the contestants on the TV program have done so um, you can interpret them however you like and either make something new, show us something you've already made, um, there's going to be loads of prizes, there's loads and loads of info on the blog but it's, yeah, I'm really excited. We've had such a good reception, so many people are wanting to get involved and I think um, showing off the sewing community and how wonderful it is, is really, really brilliant, especially when hopefully a lot of new people will be getting into sewing through the Great British Sewing Bee. And I think it just gives us a really great opportunity to bring people together and really celebrate the talent that everybody has. So um, I will link the blog post down below where you can find out all the info. It's not starting until the show starts, which is obviously the 12th of Feb, um, but do um, leave us a comment on the blog or head over to Instagram. And I really, really hope that you can join in with this because it's so exciting. But yeah, have a great week and I will see you again next week for my plans video. Take care guys, bye!